Soldiers past and present have served our country with honor, respect, and dedication, some of them for up to three wars. Melissa Bell brings us the details of a new display at the National Infantry Museum and how it honors soldiers who hold the Triple Combat Infantryman Badge. A new display was unveiled at the National Infantry Museum honoring a select group of service members whose dedication to duty spanned three wars. We were there to honor all 325 recipients of the third award of the Combat Infantryman's Badge. There are only 325 of them, which makes this one of the rarest badges ever issued to a soldier or ever awarded to a soldier. And to help unveil this new display, three awardees of the Triple CIB lent a hand to uncover these 325 names. You see a lot of athletes getting their name in the Hall of Fame and all that. Well, to me, this is like a combat infantry Hall of Fame. <laughs> in order to earn the CIB, soldiers must be an infantryman, assigned to an infantry unit, and actively engaged in ground combat while at war. And not only did these 325 men earn their badge, most of them earned it for World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam demonstrating leadership while supporting the Army at war. I am proud, as well as all these other men, that we were awarded this. In most cases, we were all volunteers. Our love was for our country and for our fellow soldiers. It was hard to earn it, but we will never forget it. And hopefully, people that follow us will have the same feelings. After the ceremony, they shared stories of their careers, even remembering their first days in. I can tell you, the soldiers that I served with in World War II, I can remember almost every day. I can remember the places we were, what we did, and so forth. But as they looked at the names on the display, in their hearts and in their minds were the soldiers not able to be with them today. I wish we were all here. They're wonderful soldiers. Wonderful men. They earned the comment in your badge, just like I did. This new display can be viewed downstairs in the Cold War exhibit. Melissa Bell, Fort Benning TV.